Hello everyone and welcome back to another Warframe video. Today we will talk about upcoming updates coming to Warframe and the first one is only a week away. Digital Extremes announced that Protea Prime access starts May 1st and this comes with Protea Prime along with her Prime weapons namely Okina Prime and Villas Prime. Honestly, I'm more excited with the Okina Prime on this since it has been a long time since we saw a dual blade being primed and I'm hoping this weapon will be an insane hybrid melee that can go reach red crit status. With all the melee buffs that happened in the past, I'm really excited to see more melee weapons being added to the game game. However, I'm not saying that Protea Prime is not that exciting, as finally we will have the Prime rework of Vobin that we all have been waiting for a very long time. I'm just kidding lads. So all those Protea mains please don't be mad at me. Protea Prime is one of the decent Warframes in the game that has insane survivability through shield and amazing DPS just by using her blazing artillery skill. It's a great Warframe to play with in steel path levels and the Prime access will definitely be a blessing for those players who haven't farmed the vanilla version of Protea as we all know that Prime parts are easier to get compared to the vanilla variant of Warframes. Unless Unless you have tons of platinum to spend and buy them directly from the market of course. Protea Prime Access will also come with exclusive Protea Prime glyphs and Protea Prime accessories featuring the new Robtron Prime Sandana, the Temporal Prime Ephemera, a new Protea Prime Helmet, a 90 day affinity booster, and a 90 day resource booster. You can get all of these by picking your card from your wallet and letting Warframe take your money to get all those accessories and bonuses. If you are a hardcore free to play gamer though, then you won't get any of these and you can only farm Protea Prime, Velox Prime, and the new Okina Prime through new Prime Relics. I highly suggest that you save all those open world and steel path standings this week so during the Prime Access release, you can just spend all those standings with Relic Packs to get all new Prime parts in Day 1. Another thing that you should look forward to is the upcoming Dev Stream 179 of Digital Extremes, wherein they will reveal more future content in Warframe. The Dev Stream will focus on the next Warframe of the game and its content called Jade Shadows. They also said in their recent Dev Shorts that they will be discussing more about Warframe 1999 update, but I guess it will be just tidbits of information as I think they'll be focusing more on the Jade Shadow update. And lastly, the best thing that they have said in the Dev Short is that they will finally be adding new Kuva and tenant weapons in the game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to flatten my water bottle today. But we also have something else coming in the dev stream. So not only are we talking about Jade Shadows, we're not. We're going to talk a little bit about 1999 and set you up for a little more of um, some TennoCon teasing. We also are going to tell you about the next Kuva weapon and the next tenant weapon. So you'll learn about those on the dev stream. I'm not going to tell you what they are, but you'll learn about it on Friday. So if you've been hoping for a certain Kuba weapon, you'll either be really happy or really disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> and if you've been hoping for okay. a, if you've been hoping, well, like, if you're like, oh, I really want the Kuba blank, and then we show you the Kuba blank blank, you'll yeah. be like, oh my god, screw you, D. Bye. You're self-censoring blank blank, eh? I don't know, I'm just, don't read into it too much. I get that some players are too focused on incarnate weapons right now, but Kuva and Tenet weapons have a special place in my heart, and I'm very happy that we are getting new variants of these weapons soon. Some of the best weapons right now are evolving guns, but Kuva and Tenet weapons are not far behind, and in fact, most of the Kuva and Tenet weapons in the game are still meta, even though they are way older compared to the incarnate guns in Warframe. There's the Kuva Nucor, the Tenet Envoy, the Tenet Archiplasmor, or even the Kuva Brahma and Kuva Zar that despite the AoE nerf, still, these weapons are some of the best weapons in the game that every player should have. The best part is, these weapons come with innate elements that you can choose through progenitor warframes, and I can't wait to try more elemental combos knowing that I'm in love with galvanized setup and stacking multiple element in one weapon to dish out high damage. This also means that both sisters of Parvos and Kuva Hunt will get revitalized, but expect another hellish murmur grind. Also, we don't know if Digital Extremes will be adding tenant melee weapons, but if they do, then expect that you'll be grinding for those corrupted holokies in the Railjack Void Fisher missions. We still don't know yet what Kuva and tenant weapons will Digital Extremes add to the game, but there are high hopes for tenant Amprex, which I did discuss last week how insane the damage of the gun is when built with multiple element combo. The vanilla variant can shred steel path enemies with the right build, and just imagine what it can do with a tenant version that has boosted stats and some new mechanics. But then again, we don't have a clue what weapons will get a tenant or Kuva version, and Space Mom did say that there's a 50-50 chance that we get excited or disappointed with what they will be revealing on DevStream 179. Rest assured that I will keep you posted, and I hope that the team will show some stats so we can theorycraft some builds before the release of these new Tenet and Kuva weapons. So that's all of it for today. Be sure to check back tomorrow as I got a very interesting Warframe topic that you might want to be engaged with. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in our next video. Squad Leader, signing off.